How we doing guys, Dimes HD here, and today we're going to be talking about the Spring Update Promotion Players Moments. I know a lot of you guys probably saw this SBC and was thinking, who am I going to choose, who am I going to pick? That's what I made this video exactly for, to make you make your decision easier on who to pick. So without any further ado guys, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and without any further ado, let's get into it. So we got the Spring Update Promotion Player Moments. So the SBC is going to be coming in at an 83 and an 84 rated squad, you're going to need 185 plus player relatively cheap relatively simple now we're going to look at the cards that you have to choose from which is confusing a lot of people because it's not showing up on the game it's just showing a pack so you got morris this guy and manuel morris and ahmed zalich yeah that was very bad i know i butchered that bad so starting off we got carlton morris he's a striker he plays for luton town um luton fans would be happy with this one obviously he looks like a really really decent card four star four star high medium Right footy, he has the finesse shot trait, uh, finesse shot trait, finesse shot plus, play style plus, and power header, which is really, really OP in this game. Obviously, with the recent patch, it has to hold it down a little bit, but it's still very, very prevalent with some of the cards in the game. He has 94 pace, 88 shooting, 78 passing, 86 dribbling, and 92 physical. This card looks amazing. Honestly, this is a very, very good card. When you look at it on paper, he looks really, really good. He would not be a bad option to take, obviously, with him being... Well, I was going to say, obviously, with him being Premier League. Well, Josh, they're all Premier League. They got promoted, so that would have made no sense. But, honestly, this is a good card. If you need a striker, um, if you're a Luton fan, if you like England players, yeah, he's a great striker to pick. I mean, it's really no wrong. Obviously, where it could be a problem in gameplay, like um, competitive modes, could be the agility and balance. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Like, like with the agility and balance, why couldn't they just give him 85 in both? I don't see why not, because at the stage of where this game is at, it would make the most sense. But then again, the SBC is super cheap, so we have to factor that into effect. But this would not be a bad option to pick at all. Not at all. Now, we're going to get to the center back. 87 pace center back. Does he have anticipate? No, he does have block and jockey, which is still good as well. He does have intercept. He does have anticipate on, on regular, not gold. Um, he has slide tackle, bruiser, and relentless. Block, jockey on play style plus. Very, very good center back. 87 pace, 71 passing, 54 shooting, 77 dribbling. Pretty good dribbling stats all around for a center back. Not too shabby at all. Very, very balanced card. 84 defending and 86 physical. You still have a shadow on him. Honestly, he'll be... He'll be solid. Where I, I can't find the shadow chemistry style for some reason. Oh, there you go. So with the shadow, he gets 95 pace with 91 defending. This is a very good card. The only problem with this card is going to be links. If you don't have a Premier League team, it's going to be hard to link him since he is Bosnian. But honestly, looking so far, this is probably going to be the best option out of the three, in my opinion, of course. If you need a center back, I would definitely say go with him. He, with the shadow chemistry style, with the plus eight in pace on acceleration and sprint speed, plus having good defending stats boosted, you can even go with an anchor. Um, but the way this game is formatted, I would definitely say you got to have your center backs pretty much on max pace because everybody's pretty much got god tier strikers and attackers at this point. So I would say the shadow chemistry style would be your best bet. But yeah, he definitely looks the better of the two between him and, and Moore so far. Now, you have Benson Manuel. Now, if you're a Burnley fan, he has five-star, four-star. He has five-star skills and a four-star weak foot. Looks like a cool little tricky winger to put out wide. Looks like a decent card. He has 93 pace, 86 shooting, 82 passing, 91 dribbling, and 76 physical. Now, he has 50 aggression. It could be presented to be an issue, but he's a winger. Most wingers are not really that strong and physical like that. They're more technical with the skill moves and stuff. The more smaller players will be out wide, which is, I mean, he's literally five feet, five inches tall, which is crazy. He's short. Wow. But, um, yeah, he has good dribbling, good passing, good shooting, good pace. I mean, this is not a bad option either. Honestly, if, if, if I had to pick one out of the three that would be the most meta, it's definitely going to be this guy. If you're looking for meta, if you're looking for OP, if you're looking for rat, he's your guy. This guy right here. I, I'm I'm a I'm gonna call him Ahmed. He's your guy, De definitely. Um, but yeah, he has a trickster plus play style. So if you like to do skill moves, he'll be good for that. He has the power shot play style, finesse shot, chip shot, long ball, technical flare, and quick step. He has all the dribbling traits. You're a Burnley fan. You're you're, you're laughing to the bank. Burnley have got some good cards this year. Very very good cards. 
So, yeah, this is a very, very good card as well. But if I had to pick one out of the three, if you're going meta-wise, Ahmed is going to be your guy. If you don't care, honestly, either Morris or Manuel, I would probably go with Manuel because he does have the five-star skill moves. So I will go with him second, him first, and him third. Hope that guy's done. Hope that, guys. Hope that answers your questions about who to pick for this spring update promotion players moment SPC. Spoon with Dynasty, guys. And I'm out, guys. Thanks for watching.